Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I am back at the skate pit at an auction. Um, I wanted to pretty much video what they have here because I've never seen an eclectic collection like this before ever in my life. Um, so I'll show you right now. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Okay, there is already a ton of people in here. Um, so pretty much I already know, like everybody's antique dealers here. <laughs> so I don't know how much I will get, if anything, but mainly I just wanted to show you guys this collection because it's, it's a really awesome one. And there's so much stuff. I think that's a lighter. Weird leather purses, some head vases. Look at that large head vase. Wow, that's craziness. Oh, and look at the kitchen witch. Salt and peppers. Those are cool. I mean, this stuff is like pretty much stuff I've really never seen before. Like, look at this folk art horse. It's carved out of wood. So, so much stuff, you guys. This is so cool. He's like missing a hand. So it goes all the way. I mean, there's so much stuff. There was so much stuff in this lady's house that they had two semis full and they're doing they can only do one semi today and then they're doing another semi full in December. Look at that. Have you ever seen a buggy that is a rabbit? <laughs> so awesome. And look at these lamps. Isn't that amazing, you guys? Say hi. <laughs> Look at this. Like there's pieces here that I have never ever seen before, you guys. It's got lights on it. Look at those. These are like head bases. That's plastic. This is just crazy. Look at it. <laughs> it's like a silent butler. I'm gonna go over here because I wanna show you guys these things that, look, I wanna show you um, these that I kinda wanna buy. Aren't they cool? There's three of them. And then there's like a folk art. I don't even know like what a lot of this stuff is. This lady must have been collecting for so long. So long. So yeah, the radio is playing. So I'm hoping I don't get a copyright strike. So we will go over here. I mean, they've got mannequins and everything. Like all kinds of treasures here. All kinds, like look at all these buggies. And look at this for a kid. Isn't this crazy? So many treasures, it's just unbelievable. I can't wait to see what's in the next load. I said, oh my goodness, I bet this was such a fun, fun clean out. I would have had so much fun, even though I said 
I'm never doing a clean out again because they are so much work. Doing one like this would have been so much fun, isn't it? Like, look at this door. It is so cool. And Santa. Lots of Coca-Cola collectibles. All kinds. I mean, it's just, they're just everywhere. Have you ever seen, I know I'm a, Hey, how are you? <laughs> Look at this, what is this? What is this for? Like, I have no idea. It is so awesome, this stuff is crazy. I came last night, I should have videotaped last night when I was by myself and there wasn't anybody here. Um, cause there's a lot of people here, so I try not to get them in the shot and in camera, but I knew that there was going to be a lot, a lot of people here. Oh my God. Look at the ventriloquist doll. I already have two though. Do I need another one? Probably not. Probably not. I can't wait to see what the next stuff is. And look at this. It still has its original gumballs, you guys. It still has its original gumballs in there. They are old. <laughs> oh. And look at these button pictures are like old pins. I mean, there is just so much stuff everywhere. It just keeps going and going and going. Like I said, I'm really not planning on being able to get a lot because they're, it's full of antique dealers already. And I like to pay, you know, low prices for stuff. So, oh, look at her. Oh my goodness. You just get out of there. She's beautiful. She beautiful. Hopefully, there's a lot of antique dealers here. Yeah. Better have deep pockets today. <laughs> I don't. So I, I came up. To, I came up to work. So. There you, go. <laughs> you will someday. You're young yet. Happy to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Miss Ava. Happy birthday to you. Oh, it's the auctioneer's daughter's birthday. They sung happy birthday. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> 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 So, hey, there's a lot of us here today, so make sure you are loud and proud, okay? If you want us to see you, you have to be loud and proud for us, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joe, and I want to get thanks kids out here. Thanks for coming out today. Thank the family for uh, all the stuff we get to have here to sell. All right, let's get things started. Hey, Joey, tell, tell them we're going to try to move this stuff out here, then we'll, we'll move the tables out so we can give it a little more room. Yes. Not, it'll be a little crowd to begin with, but... It will be. Oh, 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 this is my friend. Tom Cruise getting her phone back. Yeah, say hi. You got a good deal on that purse. I wasn't even paying attention. Bidding war going on. Well, that was a fun, fun auction. It lasted all day long. But I still was able to get some fun stuff. I can't believe it. I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to get anything. But I got all this. And I only ended up spending $21. That's it. $21. So let's get into the haul so I can show you everything that I got.
Okay, we made it back from the auction, like I said. Um, I am doing the haul video on the floor because uh, I didn't want to move everything up on the couch. There's a lot of stuff. I cannot believe that I only ended up spending $21 on all this stuff. Um, well, actually, my total was really $51, but I sold three things to a lady at the auction before I even left uh, for $30. So, yeah, all this stuff I'm getting ready to show you, I only ended up spending $21. That's it. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the haul. I'm going to show you one of my favorite things um, to start out with. It is this on air radio made in the USA, plugged it in. It does work. I'm going to, I don't know if this is supposed to light up. I would assume. Um, it's got two screws back here, so I'm going to unscrew these and then maybe see if it has a light bulb in there, but the radio does work. So that right here is going to, this radio is going to pay for everything <laughs> that I got plus some. Okay. So then I got this radio. This is one of those reproduction radios that sits, um, well, this came off of it. I'm going to have to see if Luke can fix that somehow. This, it goes right here where the radio, where the station is. Um, but anyways, I plugged it in. It does work. Um, it lights up and the radio comes on. It's a little staticky, so somebody might have to mess with that, but. It does work, so isn't that neat? I just thought it was a super cool radio. You know, and like I said, I only ended up spending $21 for everything, so pretty good. <laughs> and then I got this amazing um, gumball machine. It is not an old one. It's a carousel. Um, it is metal. And I think that's plastic. I think this is plastic. But this part is metal. It does say China on the bottom of it. But I love these. I don't have one like this. Um, but I like to take mine and fill them with... I do have a few other ones. Um, and I like to take them and fill them with marbles. Or like different little game pieces. Like all kinds of different game pieces and stuff like that. So... I just thought that was a really fun find, and it's in good condition, so. Then I got these, a pair of chalkware. They need a little touching up, but they're, they're old. They're chalkware lady wall hangings. They hang on your wall. They're really pretty ladies, just need a little touch up. Like I said, I think that's just, hold on. Yeah, that's just dirt on his nose. There we go. That's better. Now they look better. See, just a little chippies, but they're old, like I said. So, oh, I almost tipped you guys over. <laughs> and then this was in one of the lots that I bought. I didn't buy the, you know, this purposely. This was just in one of the lots that I bought. And it's different and weird. And it's made out of like some sort of plaster or something. It is an older one. But maybe somebody could touch it up or somebody would want it. I have no idea. Um, but like I said, it was in the lot. So. And then I bought this lot. So these are so dirty, so, so dirty. It comes with two planters. They need a good cleaning and I will clean them, but two swan planters. They're really fun. And then, oh, and they have a made in Japan sticker on the bottom. So those two, and then these two, they're candle holders. They are dirty, 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 but they're so cute, right? So adorable. So I picked up that set. Then these two 
things were in one of the lots that I, one of the box lots that I bought. And I, you know, I didn't, like I said, I don't, I didn't buy these just because <laughs> I didn't, because they're not my niche, but they were in the box lot. So maybe somebody will want them. Who knows? They are old, old blow dryers. Very old metal ones. See, that one's like all rusted. I have no idea. You guys can let me know in the comments below if you want some old blow dryers. <laughs> okay, and then this was in one of the box lots that I bought. Um, it is a music box, and unfortunately, it does not work. Well, how do you open? There we go. Like, how does it open? But it's a little heavy. There we go. See? It's a music box. Maybe somebody might be able to tinker with it or something and get it to work again. I don't know. But it was in the box lot, so I just took it. Okay, then I was able to get two... Careful, Missy. Two lady head vases. Now, she does have a broken finger, but... You know, people are able to fix them now, like with clay or whatnot. Some people, you know, don't mind them broken. They, I did not pay very much for these at all. And so I figured, why not, right? They are Napco. Napco, nine, that one says 1958. So other than her finger, I mean, they do have a little bit of wear. See, around, she does still have both of her earrings. And she doesn't have the big eyelash ashes like the other ones do, but she's still just like right there. A little bit of wear around the edge. And then this one, I like her top. She does have the eyelashes and her eyelashes are in... They're in good condition, her eyelashes are, and she has both of her earrings. She does have both of her earrings, but she needs a good bath and a new finger. <laughs> hmm. She's an amputee. Hmm. She lost a finger. Okay, and then, which, not really an amputee, but you know what I mean. And then my friend Gordy, who you've seen in the video... This was in one of his box lots, and he didn't want it, so he gave it to me. Um, she's got some scuffing. Maybe a Mr. Clean Eraser would take that off. she got a hole in her head. I've never seen anything like this. Um, see? She's different. And her head does move a little bit. Like, it moves a little bit. And then she's marked on the back right there. And then on the head. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but she's different, right? So, I mean, for free, I thought maybe one of my customers might want her, just maybe, to sit on your shelf. And then this was in one of the lots. Unfortunately, it's missing whatever was on there. I don't I don't know what it would have been. Um, maybe a bird. Did another bird sit on there or something? I have no idea. But this is like kind of, it reminds me of Mexican pottery. Because it is pottery. And it hangs. Maybe you could find something to put on there. It's got a bird down there too. It's so different and unique, and I thought that was really cool and different. Really, it would look really neat hanging up, you know, somewhere. I like the eyelashes. So I picked up that. Then, oh, let's get this box closer. There is so much stuff in this box. Okay. So there was a ton of mirrors. I haven't showed my mother yet. I don't know which one she'll want or if she will want any of them. This is like a thick, nice, awesome handle. And then look at that. That is so cool. It's like Victorian kind of. 
Um, if you're watching this, mom, remember those boxes that I was telling you about that I wanted a box of those boxes, like glove boxes or whatever. This is what the style was of all those boxes was just like these ladies. They, there was tons of them in there. Okay, so then there's this whole entire set. There's a lot of pieces to this dresser set. And it is pretty, pretty, pretty. So there's this piece. This mirror. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love that one. The brush. These two little jars. Well, this is a tall one, I guess. I don't know if that's for hat pins or some sort of pins, maybe. I don't know. But these two jars and this little one. And I think that was on there. I think those, that set. So I was like, okay, cool, cool. Well, then there was a ton of different stuff. I'm going to have to go through all this and see if I could find if the stopper is in there. But there's that bottle, that old bottle, this stopper, glass stopper, which if I can't find the bottle for this in that box, then it will just go to treasure bag. Um, there's a couple of these. They're like cameo, you know, but they're not the lady. That's what they remind me of. Burwood Products USA. They are marked on the back. They are metal little frames. They would look really cute on a little gallery wall if you have a little space to fill. I got those. All this stuff was like in this box lot. That lady, I think she would have had a a fabric bottom and she was a pin cushion. She went on the top. I believe that's what she was. She's cool. I got this. I was able to get one necktie box. It was in one of the box lots that I got. It's a little bit rough. The top needs to be glued back in, but that ain't no big deal. No big deal. It's still pretty nice. And then on the outside, just to display it, I mean, it, it does have a little bit of wear, but it's vintage. And I like that. That's pretty cool. These are kind of hard to find. You don't see these boxes very often. And then, oh my goodness, there was a bunch of little tins. A bunch of little tins in there. These two. Um, that one. That one. And then, unfortunately, one doll did not make it. One little old, old doll did not make it. I believe this is real hair. I think it's real. I'm pretty sure that's how they made them back in the day with was real hair. But see, she, she didn't make it. She could be re-glued back together. But that's why I saved her and didn't throw her away. Because she's really, really old. And somebody might, you know, I might even glue her back together. Maybe I'll just do it or let somebody else. Who knows? I think it's real hair. And same with this one. There's two more in here. And look, I've never seen anything like this. It like, this is a lid, like it's screwed onto something. I have no idea. Let's see, and her arms are like wire. And I believe that's real hair. And it says, Munzer Light Patent Pending, whatever that means. 
I don't know. I'll have to see if I could do a little bit of research. You guys know how I, how good I am with doing research. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So, anyways, I picked up her, and then the other one. The all these were in one box, so they I didn't even know that all this stuff was in there. Here's another one with I think it might be real hair. I don't know. I better not tell Luke; he'll get upset. Be like, get those things out of our house. We got spirits. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I think here it might be. Is this the lid? No. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. It's an angel. Is it a candle holder? Lipstick holder? Does it hold your lipstick? I don't know, but that's pretty cool. That little thing. Um... That that was in there. That's really pretty. It's all painted. A frozen Charlotte was in there. Ugh, dirty. Put that back in the box. She's missing her arms, but she's cute. And another one that is what I believe was supposed to be a pin cushion. I have the bottom, you know, that's like a big poofy dress. But she's pretty. Um, a pin cushion shoe. Um, I have no idea what this is for. If you know, let me know in the comments below. What's it supposed to hold? I don't know. It looks like it was silverware or something. Like that was a spoon. And then it was, is it a little bud vase that somebody made? I don't know, but that's pretty neat. Pretty different. This little picture was in there. A lot of this stuff will probably just go to treasure bags. Oh, I found it. There it is, the stopper for that bottle. So there's the bottle. It's glass and metal. That's pretty neat. Um, This little Avon powder thing. I don't know if I'll keep that or not. I like the cover. Maybe I'll see if mom wants it. It's full. It's got powder in it. This is why I bought one of the box lots that I did because I've seen this in there and I've sold these a few times. I've had a few times I've found them. Every single time I found them, they sell right away. This one, yay, has three clippies, three hands hand clips and it's in good condition it's all metal and i love that piece love 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 it it's very eclectic and fun and different so i picked up that then this will go into a treasure bag it was at the bottom of one of the boxes the little clock made in china it says on the back um another little tin again treasure bag Another little clock, treasure bag. Um, there is an alabaster. It needs cleaned up and the lid is broken off. It's off its hinge. See, it came unattached from the base, but it's still really pretty just to sit as display. In your decor, it needs a really good cleaning, but. I like the stone. It's very pretty. And then I got a mirror and 
brush set, a, pl a plastic one. It's, you know, just a plastic, but it's pretty. It's a set, so it needs a good cleaning. Most of this stuff does. It was, this lady had a lot of stuff. This mirror, my mom's going to love that once that gets cleaned up. This one's metal. I don't know which ones mom's going to want and which ones she won't. And then this one, she probably will want to because, I mean, it's cool. They're all awesome. This one's like a plastic, a vintage plastic one. Yeah, those are the mirrors. Oh, and this was on, this I might pair with this. Might sell these two together. This old perfume thing. Um, This was in the box lot. It is heavy, but it's so cool. It's chalkware. Or like plaster, maybe. I don't know. Let me see if I can find any markings. on. Yep, it is marked. Hold on. What's it say? Universal Statuary, which I've sold some of those pieces before. Corp, Chicago, 1958. This is from 1958. Look at her. It is so cool. It's got the metal screen on the back. See that? Very, very cool piece, especially for um, if you like this type of style and design, this type of decor. This would look perfect on a gallery wall in your house. It is so pretty. It's in very good condition, too. There's no chips or cracks, just, you know, tiny little flea bites from age. But other than that, she's in good shape. And then. This mirrored tray, which is filthy, filthy, but I like the metal. And then here's the bottom. It's got cobwebs on it. Don't pay attention. Those came for free. <laughs> so that metal mirrored tray. These are very, very unique. I, I don't know. I've never seen anything like them. They've got the jewels. See? around the edges they are metal like a lighter weight metal they are older so what are these supposed to be for but like i said they have jewels around the around them i don't know they're old they're cool i'm gonna have to do a little bit of research and i'm dropping dirt and everything on me everywhere and oh one more perfume bottle was in there so i might pair all those perfume bottles up together and sell them in a lot and there was two old postcards in there that one let's see if i can see a date on the stamp no, I can't. Made in Germany. And then this one. This one's made in Germany as well. So those two were in there. This old card, or I don't know what it is, but it's like paper. Ladies. No idea. And in that one. And that's it. Oh, no. One more. There's a pen in there. One little pen. And that is it. That is the haul. <laughs> Like I said, I only ended up spending $21 for all that stuff. I think it did amazing. I think it did quite well. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found at the auction today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. 
all lowercase letters, no spaces. And um, I can let you know if it will be available in a live sale or if I will sell it outright. Um, most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post a new video. Because a lot of the times I'll have pop-up random live sales throughout the week. And if you are subscribed to my channel and with the bell button hit to all, um, you'll get a notification when I go live and sell all these fun, amazing treasures. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please share my channel with all your friends. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.